Hey there on the South Calvin the Hotline Miami and last time we did two level unprecedented yeah, we're learning all about Knife Coon, and I guess like it was like tutorial and then real level. Also, a reminder, I've been told that the game has two levels in the level selection, which are not part of the story. So whenever I beat the game a second time, a reminder that's not gonna be beating the game. Prank Call though, that is clearly an allusion to that one time where, oh, no masks here. Okay, this is not gonna be a, like a normal one, is it? Alright, we still got Cringer here. See, here we can see how Knife Coon is a hip happening guy. He has friends, he has a ton of stuff, material wealth, uh, hobbies, uh, well, also a person that hangs out in their bathroom. You got gotta go. And one new message, it's Jane. Hey, Jane, how's it going? Oh, it's a date. I don't know about that. All right, well, around nine. It's a nine o'clock day. One of those nice suits. Is it okay if it matches my helmet? Somewhere fancy. All right, and all these things on the floor. Here we go, going to cut a guy or more. Well, yeah, more than one guy, probably. The level where you just go there and there's one guy. Yeah, prank call. Enemies are predictable. I don't get to choose. This is totally where prank call. Yeah, this is totally where uh, protagonist one and protagonist two had a tussle. Yeah, no, yeah. Okay, something's gonna something. Hey, I. Now, in the vision I played, all these people were dead for no reason, but they're just kind of backing away from me, so, like, you know, I don't see why. Hey, uh. Hi! Oh, are you my. Okay, well, you seem to be interested in shouting. Uh, I don't do anything. I mean, am I supposed to kill you? Oh, don't do it. All right, I did it. Okay, I had to so I could access this telephone machine. Interesting, I say. Uh, North 87th place. Uh, hmm, and yeah, but it's Richard, though. It's not uh, Owl Boy. So yeah, so he did not go on his date. Like, he went and did his own thing. Whoops. I mean, look, if this was, like, the real game, I would have all the advantages. <laughs> Alright, well... Easy enough. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> that was sad! <laughs> that was it? Was I really that pathetic? Oh, that's a golf thing. I get it. It's a little miniature mini golf thing. Was I that sad? Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. No, 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 no. I was like super cool and like dipping in and out and like fighting with everything that I could and was like super awesome. No, <laughs> that was a chump. That was uh, really a chapter. Now we're just here again. Is that a real cat or is it like a stuffed cat or what? I don't get that. There's crumbs left on the stove. Uh, should clean up before it start a fire. Uh, it's Ben. Tell you how to tombstone or, or okay. Oh wow. Oh, that sounds like a coded mission. Like a coded message. Uh, So, here's a question, though. Is this a split in a timeline? Because Richard was a real clown that just got sliced. But, oh, the, 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 the timeline split once Rasmus showed up. Anyways, I need to get my tombstone, which honestly feels like, hey, we're done with you. But he said interesting, but didn't go there. I clear. I don't think I did what, you know, what I was supposed to do with Jane. Uh, anyways, follow the red arrows. They haven't been did by that. Resolution. Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on. Hey, it's the janitor. He's running away. 
Janitor is running away. He's running away into the secret cyber sewers. What is that machine? I can't interact. Oh, I can interact here with a computer. Beep, 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 beep. What's this? Is it born the USA? I was born a USA. Yeah, all right. Okay, I bet that was it, huh? So I just... So this is where that would have happened, maybe. Possibly. I don't know. I don't see anything else I can interact with, necessarily. Man, this is some music. Here's the sigil. Okay, the carpet is really strong. Wait, so the janitor has been doing this all this time? Like, that would make sense. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So these are the pe So the janitors were... were behind it. Like, they're not actual janitors. It's like they're front. It's how they disguise. You know, hiding in plain sight. Like, that's... that's just smart. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... that... that really does kind of boil up that way. Uh-huh. Well, turns out, Scrabble letters that were assembled by a completely different person inspired this man to guess the password. Don't ask me how that works, it just does. Little magic, you know what? Yeah, sure, magic is real. That goes a long way to explaining a lot of things. Mm-hmm. This, again, is going in a really strange direction. But, oh, I, if I had not the password, though, like, what? I wonder what this conversation would look like. Well, I mean, we... I don't know. <laughs> it's probably on YouTube. Or not just in Miami. Looking forward to... Uh... See, see, now if I was smart... I was up, I would have followed up with like a small town in the United States connection. But that's not the name of the game. It's Hotline Place. I was thinking of Miami Connection. It's a completely different game. Wow, I bungled that one up. Wow. I'm sorry. I really Oh, that was terrible. Okay, one of them too is to make them think they'll be Okay, yeah. So a system of threats. A society of threats. Well, this seems weirdly prescient. Yeah, 50 blessings! Yeah, I thought. Okay, so. I thought. At some point, I realized that was probably the group that was actually sending me the calls. I don't think I ever said that out loud, something I was thinking. So these two are 50 blessings. Or no, they're part of 50 blessings. But these two are two members of a bigger thing. No, 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 no. They're the two people at the top of the Ponzi scheme. Okay, okay. Huh. Five years, so we're in 89 in this game? What happened in 1994? Yeah, honestly, I'm surprised these people are still alive. Okay, alright, yeah, see, like, honestly, like, there- ooh. That got graphic. <laughs> what? <laughs> Man. Hey, I found Phil. Yeah, I thought that looked weird. Well. Oh, I can't cross there. Eh, there's an invisible wall. The most powerful kind of wall you could ever imagine. Yeah, you can go here and here alone. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of masks in there. They're the one delivering the masks. See, there's a... There's a Richard, and there's like a Spotted Leopard, and all those guys.
Is this, is this it though? This is, this took a turn for the weird. Yeah, there's nothing here. All right, well, on the road again. Um, huh. <laughs> That's my take. Hey, this time the credits are not like weirdly jittery. Bit of a smoother scroll. Good for you. Now! Hmm. Is it just me? Or does that sound like it's kind of meant to be sort of like read as, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? As an allegory for them making a video game that's making people kill a lot of people and that, oh no, video games, like, I don't know. I don't know, that sounds dumb. Never mind, I didn't say that. I don't know. Like, I'm... Okay, so, harsh words here. I'm not sure what this whole knife coon um, addition, epilogue added to the game. Maybe this all like ties up like in a way that's a little bit more satisfying in the sequel, which I repeat, I am interested in playing. It's not gonna be a next thing. And I don't know when because I have had very little say in what I've been playing lately. Uh, but, um, I mean, this is worth, you know, like, 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 I don't know. As like, assuming you've just finished this game, and you don't know that Hotline Miami 2 is going to be a thing. So let's put ourselves into that mind space. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like the strange end of the main game felt great felt very on purpose, like there's a lot of things you don't understand, and it's fine. Like, it, it, it feels like a controlled level of not understanding, of which, Ned something there, of which I, um, was comfortable with. The Knife Coon Adamdum, the Helmet Annex, I don't know, like it feels like just adding a bunch of extra layers I'm not sure if they add up to anything that is anywhere close to satisfying in any way I just don't know what it does I don't know what it means but I played uh, and I was saying well thank you for making I press a button and here's Phil he's a fish and here's Nigel he's a bat <laughs> So just curious, like, and yeah, we got special chapter, bonus chapter. Yeah, so we just did, yeah, we did prank call and resolution. So we got highball and uh, expose. That one doesn't even have a preview map. Eurogamer expo. Oh, are we going to be in a video game magazine killing all the employees there? Maybe look forward to that. I don't know what that is, though. I cannot read that map, but it's fine. I just wanna, let's just go anywhere. Uh, no intros. I wanna see what's my, but well, that's maybe not the right one, but that's fine. All I wanna do, yeah, is look at my mask collection. I'm missing two, and those are probably from the special map, the maps. Oscar makes the dark. Rick is a good shot. Brandon walks fast. Phil is French. <laughs> okay. Now I got like reverse control. Oh, I don't think you want to use that bat. I don't know. Just a odd sense I have. Oh, and you don't have. St well, if I press here, no, no prizes, no prizes. But maybe you have to find them. Like I have to find Phil in resolution. I don't know. You know what? I don't know anything about anything. And I'm gonna keep it that way for now. Post game next time. We'll see what happens.